Okay, welcome back. And in this section, I want to talk to you about choosing the right NLP provider for you. You see, when you consider which training provider to use to learn NLP or coaching, you should be aware that not all trainings are created equal. There are many training providers and, you know, it can be a minefield to find a good quality trainer. We are to help to guide you to make the process easier for you to choose. So when you're looking at choosing somebody to learn NLP and coaching from, I think there's a few things that you need to look at. The first is you want to look at the accreditation. So you want to make sure that it's reliable, that the accreditation bodies are well established, that you've got international accreditation. Some providers actually create their own accreditations and uh, you know that really carry no weight. So you want to make sure that they're good quality uh, providers and good quality accreditation and not just something that they've set up themselves. You also want to check out does the trainer actually work in the field and do they use the techniques themselves. It reminds me of the old saying those that can't teach and so you know really you want a trainer who actually can do the do who does walk the talk. So have a look out for that. You also need a trainer that must be properly qualified to be able to teach you. I've had a couple of people that have come and done practitioner courses with me and then they've gone off and they wanted to set up their own NLP training. Well, you know, just doing practitioner training certainly is by no means a complete understanding of NLP. So make sure that your trainer actually is properly qualified and also find out by whom they've been trained and you know what makes them qualified to be able to train you. I think a trainer should be committed to personal development and growth. Simply just doing a training course and then want to go train other people, I think lets down you as the student. So you need to be working with somebody who's committed to that personal development and somebody who's committed to growing so that they can keep at the forefront of what's going on to make sure that they share the best knowledge with you. You also want to check how long has your trainer been training. Somebody who's been training for more years, I think will have more experience than somebody who's been training for a short period of time. That's not to say that somebody who's been training for a short period of time is not any good. It simply means that somebody who's got more experience will be able to share more with you, give you more examples, and you know, may be able to explain things to you in various different ways so that they can settle in and make perfect sense to you. Be aware that some providers will try to tempt you with low prices. But of course, the quality of the training is then going to suffer and the materials are probably of low quality. Now, I've been to a number of training sessions and I'm totally committed to personal development. And, you know, sometimes you get your training materials and the manual has been printed on normal 80 or 90 gram paper. Personally, I think that's inadequate. By the time you've paged through your manual a couple of times, those pages are probably torn. You lose pages, you lose information. So really you want top quality product and you want to make sure that the training is actually going to give you everything that you need. Not, don't be seduced by low prices. At the same point in time, it's not the most expensive training provider that's going to give you the best training either. So I think it's important for you to do your research, find out what is it that you're going to get for the price that you're going to pay and you know you should feel comfortable that you are getting good value. Other providers will say that they're going to give you more certificates and so try lure you in by saying you're going to get four certificates or five certificates during a training. But then what happens is they actually rush over the material and as such leave you incomplete and underprepared for using the techniques in the real world. Some others will simply charge you large amounts to draw the training out over many days. Again, I think it's important to look at what you're getting. Is it of value to you? And not to be seduced, as I said, by either price or the amount of certificates that you're going to get or think necessarily that, you know, you need to do a training over 12 months. Some providers like to draw it out so that they can charge you more. 
So do your research and feel comfortable that you're getting the right product. Like I mentioned, look at the, the boards that people are registered with. So coaching with NLP, we registered with the American Board of NLP, we registered with the American Board of Hypnotherapy, the American Board of NLP Coaching Division, the Timeline Therapy Association, Coaches and Mentors of South Africa, the International Coach Registry, the ANLP. So as well as being the ICF Mentor Coach and a certified coach with the ICF, I'm also a Microexpressions Practitioner, a Master Practitioner and Trainer of course with NLP, Hypnosis, Coaching and Timeline Therapy. I'm also a trainer of mindfulness, speed reading, and other personal development courses. And I don't say that to impress you, but to impress upon you the importance of personal development and continual growth. It's only through continual growth that we can make sure that we share the best practice and the best knowledge available at that time with our students. So that's it in regards to choosing an NLP provider. And I hope that's made things a little bit clearer for you. As always, please feel free to contact us and, you know, we'll share the best that we can with you to help you decide which is the right provider for you.